Okay. Good morning, everyone. My name is Elizabeth DeRosier. I'm here today to share with you our essential oils class called Oil Essentials 101. This is the first class which will help you know what to do with your essential oils. We have a diffuser and our diffuser with our Thieves oil. And so Thieves is helping to support a healthy immune system. We have essential oils. This is our Thieves, which is a blend of five oils, cinnamon, rosemary, clove, eucalyptus, and lemon. Gary Young has developed blends in order for us to choose one bottle of oil instead of buying all five just to make this oil. He's done the work for us. Okay, we have sacred frankincense and of course our little tray of oils here. So when you sign up with Young Living, you will sign up as a member and you will use our member number 1001744. And with that member number, you're going to get a kit, which includes the diffuser and also 10 essential oils. This group is lemon, copaiba, digize, thieves, peppermint, lavender, frankincense, purification, RC, pan away. In addition to, this is the rest of the kit, you will get stress away, a little roller bottle filament, sample oils, sample bottles where you can put oils in these little dram bottles and share them with your friends, and two of the juice boxes of Ningxia. The Ningxia juice is beautiful juice. It's wonderful, delicious juice. Two ounces every morning will help support your immune system and give you all kinds of good energy, delicious stuff. All right, so let's start with our class. We have with the um, a PowerPoint presentation I would like to share with you today. Okay, so here again is our information, and we will leave this here for a minute so you can copy this down, all right? So you wanna remember your member number, my member number is going to be put in the place where on youngliving.com, when you sign up to be a member, you will put my member number as your enroller and your sponsor, because we will teach you how to use the oils, what to do with them. And you can call us at any time, 401-447-3671. Okay? Alrighty, so what do you do with the oils? Oils can be inhaled. This can help for, it can support your emotional functions. You can put it in a diffuser, fill the bottom with water up into the little red line, and then add a few drops, push the button, and it will emit a steam, just like the diffuser is doing here. Okay, so with the diffuser, it improves mental clarity, balances emotions, and unpleasant odors. You can put this in your hands. Take a couple of drops of an oil, put it in your hands, cup it and inhale it, and inhale it that way. You can put it on a tissue and put it in a cup. Now remember, plastic will melt or get kind of funny if you put the oils in there because the oils are really concentrated. So like PET, it's a grade of plastic. Or you want to use a glass jar or something and you can put the uh, tissue with some oils in there and put it in there with a the lid on it and just smell it whenever you want to inhale it, okay? You can also make a spritzer with it. Put four ounces of a witch hazel with some drops of um, your favorite essential oil. Be sure to shake it up well to disperse the oil and spritz it around the world of difference. These oils are really, really good. Very pure, non-genetically modified, therapeutic grade, beautiful oils. Okay, topical. Now remember, when you want to watch, you want to watch anytime you're putting an oil around your eyes, never put oil in your eyes, in your ears, 
you want to be careful of that. So when you're putting them on topically, you can put oils on your acupressure points. You can use them on the bottom of the feet or on your ears. You can directly um, dilute them with a carrier oil, and we will list the carrier oils um, at the end of the se uh, session today. You can massage them, put them in a hot or cold compress. You can put topically for almost immediate delivery. The oils go right into your skin. When we travel and we're on a plane, and when we're in the airports, stress, the people, hurrying up. They leave you waiting hours and hours. Sometimes you're on the tarmac waiting for the plane to take off. It can be very stressful. So our favorite one to use when traveling is thieves oil. Okay, baths and soaking. You can put four to six uh, drops of your favorite oil in a jacuzzi, in the sauna, um, in the shower. You can put it on a washcloth. Remember when you're around your face area, caution around your eyes, your ears, okay? Not in your ears. You can put it around the outside of your ears, but not inside. Um, you can use them in a foot bath or a hand soak. You can use them in a full bath. A full bath. Add a few drops, but remember, you want to agitate the oils because oils will float on top of water and you don't want to sit on the oils as you're getting in the tub. You want to make sure you agitate that um, the oils in the water when you're getting into a full bath. Okay, ingesting. Gary Young is working with the FDA. He has developed Vitality Oils. Vitalities are... Um, generally regarded as safe. These are therapeutic grade, G-R-A-S means generally regarded as safe by the FDA. And you can use these Vitality Oils in a tea. You can make peppermint, lemon, um, some of the citrus oils in a water, or you can take them in a capsule orally. Some hints on using capsules. Empty capsules can be purchased in health food stores. For You can purchase them at aromatherapy accessory stores or youngliving.com. The double O holds about 20, 15 to 20 drops of oil. And the zero, the one single zero, holds about 10 to 13 drops of oil. The oils will soften a cap over a few days. So if you try to make them early, that's really not the best thing to do. Water will dissolve a capsule in 15 minutes. Oregano is a strong oil. It will dissolve a capsule within eight hours. And some oils like lemon will not dissolve it after a week. You've got to know your oils, and I highly suggest not making them ahead of time. Make them just before you need them. When you hold a capsule and you're putting the oil in, one of the rule of thumb that we use is to make sure there's something with a dark background behind the oil. It's easier if you have something in the dark background as you're dropping the oil into the capsule. This way you can see the, cap, the oils as they're dropping in. Ingestion continued. All right, swishing. You can put four to uh, six drops of oil, peppermint, lemon, or lavender in some water and swish it in your mouth for a little while. That's really good. Um, oil pulling. There are pulling oils. This is a, a technique that has been used and talked about for many, many years. Um, some people use this swishing with a coconut oil and then make sure if you're going to use swishing and they call it oil pulling you want to definitely spit that out when you're done, okay? So you would put a couple of drops maybe in a shot glass of coconut oil, mix it up really good, put some of the oil in your mouth like toothpaste and just swish it between your teeth. Remember, this gets some of the stuff out. You do not want to swallow this. You should definitely spit this out, okay? And we have details of this at the end of this segment also. Skin test. 
Everyone is different and how they respond to the oils. It's important to have an understanding of the characteristics of the oils and any precautions. Some oils are stronger than others. This is very important reason to use young living essential oils because they are pure therapeutic grade. They are not genetically modified at all, just right from the beginning. I mean, from the seed all the way till the, where they seal it in the jar. This gives you a strong assurance that they have been tested for impurities. And the oils are tested again before they are put into the jar. Okay, there are very, very strict guidelines with Young Living. You can read all about it on youngliving.com. We have done our homework for over 20 years. We've investigated other oil companies, and Young Living is the one we support 100%. D. Gary Young and Mary Young have created this company with integrity and with the Lord. We follow this, and we, they have our 100% support. So some oils are hot and some oils may cause irritation, especially on sensitive areas or for those people with sensitive skin. To avoid situations, it's always prudent to dilute the oils with a carrier if you're in doubt, in doubt of any way. If you have any question at all, perform a skin test, okay? And the skin test, the basic skin test, is to place a small amount of oil such as coconut or olive oil with a small amount of essential oil on the inside of your elbow, the inside of your elbow, and rub it in. And after an hour, check the area for a reaction. Okay, if the essential oil causes an irritation, dilute it with more carrier oil, followed by the oil. This will, this will usually make the oil usable. Another thing you can do is to place the oil on the bottom of your feet, okay? The bottom of your feet, the skin is tougher there, and it will still enter the body. And just like reflexology, you've got all your reflex points on the bottom of your foot, okay? And you massage the bottom of your foot with the oils, it's going to penetrate through the entire body. Okay, so most users will not react to therapeutic pure oils, and they can safely be applied for direct powerful effect. Well, my rule of thumb is to wait at least one hour between layering of any oils at all, just so we don't have any reactions. Okay? Some basic precautions for using essential oils. Some oils are photosensitive. They react to radiant energy or light, such as sunlight, sun lamps, or other sources of UV rays. The adverse response appears within minutes, hours, or days after the first exposure or application. The oils primarily in this category are citrus oils, including angelica, bergamot, grapefruit, lemon, lime, orange, wild orange, and tangerine. And the result is typically a dog pigmentation or a rash on the skin, okay? Bergamot contains several constituents which make it a dominant photosensitizer and cause, can cause severe reactions. So you want to be conscious. You want to know the oils and know which oils are hot not to use going in the sun or working with the UV, UV rays, okay? When using a photosensitizing oil, wait a minimum of six hours before exposing the skin to these UV rays. The stronger and more lengthy the UV rays, the longer the wait should be. Okay. Another precaution we want to keep in mind is to use care with babies and people with sensitive skins. Absolutely increased watchfulness should be used when using oils with babies, young children, and the elderly. Their skin is much more sensitive and susceptible to irritation, 
burning and stinging sensations. Using a carrier oil will protect sensitive skin against irritations. You definitely want to dilute, dilute, dilute. Remember, babies, older people, and elderly, young babies, dilute, dilute, dilute. One drop goes a long way. Put one drop in a half a cup of coconut oil. It'll still work, okay? Use care with the eyes and the ears. Never ever apply oils directly to the eyes or in the ear canal. After application, always be attentive to things like rubbing the eyes. So you can take your oils, be working with your oils, doing whatever, and forget that you have the oil on your finger and then try to put your contacts in. Not a good thing. You definitely want to be conscious of where the oils are and what you did with your hands before you touch your eyes, your mouth, and your ears. Okay? So, be attentive to things like rubbing the eyes, areas around the eyes, eyelids, handling contacts, or touching the interior of one's nose. The skin is most sensitive and prone to irritation around the genitals and mucous membranes. Use care when applying oils to children and infants. After application, the child should be supervised and all oils that were applied should be clothed. So if you are putting oils on a child and you're putting them on the bottom of the feet, typically this is a good place to put the oils. Put a sock on that baby so they don't grab their feet, grab onto their toes and then touch their eyes because the oils will get on their hands. Okay, so it's good to put a sock on and keep, keep the baby near you so you know what's going on at all times. Okay, pregnancy, oils and pregnancy. It is prudent for pregnant women to consult their physician or certified aromatherapist before using oils. This is absolute. Critical health conditions. People with asthma, epilepsy, high blood pressure, or other critical health conditions should consult a healthcare professional when using oils. There are some oils not suitable for aromatherapy. Caution or consultation should be used before using wormwood, pennyroyal, camphor, sassafras, onion, bitter almond, and horseradish. Ruta gravinolins, or rue, R-U-E, rue, essential oil is classified as poisonous to humans and should not be used. Young Living does not have those oils. Always wash your hands thoroughly after using oils. One never knows where they have to scratch their eye or go to the bathroom and forget they have an oil on their hand. Remember, if you have oil on your hand and you roll the tissue over to wipe yourself, you very well could still have the oil on the tissue. Be conscious of where these oils are. Okay, a little goes a long way. Young Living Essential Oils are pure. The higher the quality of oil, the more potent it is, and the smaller amounts are required. You can always dilute. GRAS means generally regarded as safe by the FDA. If ingesting these powerful essences, consider diluting it in water, agave, honey, or juice. Some application techniques will direct you to oils that can be ingested without dilution. Know your oils, know what you're doing, okay? There are also a number of the oils that are used in cooking. These are our vitality line. You want to keep oils out of the reach of children. Treat essential oils with the same caution as you would medicines. They are very powerful oils, and they can be painful or harmful if used in the wrong way. 
Also remember, oils are flammable. Many of the oils are flammable. Keep them clear of open flame, sparks, and fire hazards. Precautions again. Here we go. Wintergreen. Wintergreen has very positive properties, but if applied too strongly, it can become an irritant. And you'll notice the wintergreen has a different cap on it. And it can also be toxic at high levels. If you've used too much of it in capsules, it can become toxic. Many people recommend, and I am one of them, I recommend storing wintergreen out of the reach of children since it has an odor familiar with many sweets. Okay, bergamot is more photosensitive than others. Okay, again, epilepsy. Avoid the use of basil, rosemary, and wintergreen for sure. Absolutely no, none of those with, if you have epilepsy. High blood pressure, avoid rosemary and thyme. And again, we get into grapefruit. Um, grapefruit has been mentioned with concern about grapefruit oil and medication. Uh, we want to be specific on this because I found a paragraph here that you need to read. It's the compound narogen found in the fruit of grapefruit is what causes prescription meds it interferes with or amplifies the body's ability to absorb the drug. This narogen compound is not present in grapefruit oil. Okay, so you may still choose to avoid taking it internally, but with a little research, you will find that narogen is not in the essential oil. But I would still check with your doctor before you take this. Okay. And this is muscle testing. Muscle testing is also known as kinesiology, applied kinesiology or psychoneurobiology. Mu muscle testing or energy testing is an ancient tool that's been around for centuries. This is biofeedback without all the gadgets. It can be used anywhere to test anything. To be sure, it is in your highest and best interest to use a specific oil. We use this muscle testing technique. You test by pulling your two fingers together like so, and if they pull apart, this is weak. If they don't pull apart, this is your testing strong. And you can test this with your own strength. This is one way of testing it. Another way we have found that works is we will take the oil, hold it to our solar plex area, which is right here, where you're underneath your breastbone here, where your two ribs come together, and you will hold the bottle here and ask, after you connect with the creator that gives you the breath of life, connecting with creator allows you to center yourself. This is a way of getting balanced. So we connect with the creator. I do it with a prayer. An Our Father, Hail Mary. Fill myself with the white light from the heavens. Let this white light come into your crown chakra, filling every muscle of your being, every cell of your body, illuminating your DNA, feeding your soul. As the light comes out the center of the soles of your feet, we plug it into the light of the earth. The center of earth, there's a ball as light, as bright as it is in the heavens. For when we plug in as above, so below, we are connected and protected in this white light energy bubble. Now holding, this puts us in a sacred space. Now when we're holding the bottle at our solar plex, we ask, is it in our highest and best interest to take or use this oil now? When the body moves in a forward direction, that's yes. When the body repels away and pushes away from the oil, that is a no. You must listen to your higher self giving you these answers. If you're dowsing it out, this is a way of dowsing, a way of getting our answers. If you're dowsing it out and you get a no, put that bottle down and check another one. When your body leans forward, it means you absolutely need that particular oil. 
This is giving you back your power. Tapping into your in, inner wisdom, your inner wisdom with a strength and connection with creator. You will always be guided to the appropriate oil at the appropriate time. When you connect to creator, fill yourself with light and anchor that light into the earth. When you have this white light bubble around you, this light of protection, you will be guided and have accurate intuition. Okay, everything is made up of vibrations. Vibrations make our, board, our body stronger by responding positively to them. This in turn makes our bodies, our muscles, and our immune system strong or weak. When the goal is to find things that strengthen your body, strengthen your immune system, support your immune system, you want to also stay away from things that limit or weaken your body. So your body's going to go forward for something that's going to be good for it. It's going to repel away from it for something that is harmful or something you do not need. Okay? So this form of muscle testing will assure you have the appropriate oil at the appropriate time. Only you can decide what's best for you. And you can contact us at any time, and we will walk you through it how to do this dowsing. There are other techniques. You can use a pendulum. A pendulum will also help you to douse out what is best for you. Okay. Oil pulling details. Oil pulling is an ancient technique. And you proceed, of course, first with muscle testing to see if this is the most appropriate thing for you today. So you would do it before breakfast on an empty stomach. Take one tablespoon, I put it in a little shot glass of coconut oil, add three to six drops of essential oil, stir it up, stir it up right there with a little Q-tip, I'll stir it up really good, and then I will put some of the oil in my mouth. Do not swallow it. Move the oil slowly through your teeth, rinsing it and swishing with this sipping and sucking sensation pulling through the teeth. And it is recommended to do this 15 to 20 minutes. The process mixes the oils with the saliva. As this happens, the oil becomes toxic. It's pulling the toxins out. So it gets thinner and, and white when you are spitting it out from your mouth. Spit it out. Remember, you may want to spit it into a basket because some of the oils are too strong for the pipes. So you don't want to put all that oil down into your plumbing systems, okay? When you're done, you just use normal tap water and brush your teeth with our Thieves Oil Blend Toothpaste. There are many products, not just the oils, even though we're talking about oils today. There's a new makeup line. There's a chemical-free baby line, and I say harmful chemicals. There is no synthetic oils and no synthetic chemicals in what we're using. Okay. There's a men's line. Oh, yeah. There's so many different beautiful things, the cleaning supplies and vitamins, nutrients, beautiful, beautiful stuff. All right. So check out all the products at our, our youngliving.com. And remember to use our member number 1001744 as your enroller and sponsor in order to order the oils. Okay. Carrier oils. Here are your carrier oils. Coconut oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba, olive oil, safflower oil, and V6. Now, the oils in your starter kit. So when you join Young Living Essential Oils, under us, we will be your enroller and sponsor, 1001744. What this does is you will order your starter kit. Your starter kit comes with 11 oils. One of them is your copaiba or copaiba. Many people say it different ways. Okay, copaiba, you can rub it on the chest to elevate your mood. You can rub it on your temples to slow a racing mind. You can cup it in your hands for mental clarity. Rub it on overworked legs. Diffuse it for 
calming and focus. Frankincense. Frankincense can be used for calm and relaxation. We use sacred frankincense. Sacred frankincense comes from the land of Oman, where Jesus walked on the earth. We use this on the bottom of our feet at night for protection because all of the healing work that we do, we often are bombarded by negative energies. So to remove and, and clear these negative energies, we will use sacred frankincense in our work. So you can use a sacred frankincense or regular frankincense. A drop on the back of the neck will, can be used as a perfume. And a capsule for internal healthy support of the immune system. On the face for moisturizing. Frankincense is used in our Young Living Art skincare line. Lavender. You can add some lavender to your shampoo. Just a few drops. Inhale for cupped hands for relaxation. Diffuse it in the room where your baby is. And the baby will sleep. Ah, oh, nice, relaxed, calming, emotions, beautiful. Lavender. Put it on a small cloth in the dryer to help your clothes. Lemon. Lemon vitality to rinse produce. Lemon's good for getting skin. Sticky, ooey, gooey things off. If you get sticky, ooey, gooey things off, just put a little lemon in, and that will help get it off right away. You can diffuse lemon for an uplifting atmosphere. Peppermint. Apply to the back of the neck for a cooling effect. You can diffuse it for uplifting and mental clarity. Rub it on your stomach for a calming effect. De guys, de guys, you can rub on your stomach after you've had an enormous meal. De guys, vitality oil in a capsule to support healthy digestion. And you can also inhale de guys for feeling re energized. Pan away. Pan away, you can rub on tired feet before and after physical activity. Anywhere, on the shoulders, on the arms, anytime you've had physical activity on the muscles, nice soothing massage. You can add it to a carrier oil for a soothing massage. Rub it on your neck, your shoulders, your knees to release tension. Purification. One drop in smelly shoes works wonders. You can place it on a cotton ball and put it near your air vents. Add a cloth in your laundry, also purification, and diffuse it daily to keep the house smelling clean if you've got a lot of smelly pets. Okay, RC. RC is a mixture, and you can also mix this with a carrier oil for relaxing massage. You can mix it with a V6 oil for a soothing chest rub. Apply it to chest and ribs for wrists for an uplifting feeling. You can also cup it and smell it for an uplifting feeling. Stress away. When you're still in the workforce and have to live life in the fast lane, stress away oil is very calming and relaxing when used as a perfume. I would diffuse stress away for a peaceful and calming environment. You can also roll it on before any stressful tasks. Any stressful tasks. And Thieves, uh, my favorite. Thieves oil, well they're all my favorites. Thieves oil is a great cleaner. You can diffuse it and for feelings of confidence and security helps to eliminate odors and thieves vitality supports a healthy immune system you can put some drops in a capsule and take thieves daily for support okay so that ends our sharing of our PowerPoint presentation now I'd like to talk to you about Young Living as a business. Many years ago, there were multi-level marketing pyramid scheme companies. P 
pyramid scheme is illegal. Can't do that anymore. Young Living Essential Oils is not a pyramid scheme. Young Living Essential Oils, Young Living Company, is a network marketing company. Years ago, when I was growing up, people got hired into companies like the phone company, the electric company, and you went to work for 40 hours a week. You sat at a desk, you answered the phones, you did what you did as your daily tasks. You acquired vacation time, they paid you benefits, you got sick time. Well, guess what? This is 2018 and companies don't want to do that anymore. Okay? They don't want to pay you when you're not there. They're looking to pay for people per job. No more vacations. They don't want to pay you health care benefits. So they're looking to pay per job. The way around this, what is the best way to go? To join a network marketing company. By joining Young Living Essential Oils and Young Living Products, you can work the company like a business. Where can you go where you do not have to have a warehouse to house the company? You do not have to have an overhead where you're paying electric bills and, and the phone bill and all of the um, things you would for uh, thousands and thousands and thousands to invest in your own business. Investing in Young Living, you purchase a starter kit and then you share. When you share what you love, it's easy to get a check by sharing what you love. Okay, it's not easy, it's a new job, but it's a fun job. So by having a fun job, for me, it's easy because I love it and it's sharing what I love. So what are some of the ways you would do it different as a business? As a business, you order 100 PV per month, rounds out to approximately $100. Oh, what is this? People say, I can't, I don't have an extra hundred. You don't need an extra hundred. Stop buying your products that are chemical laden, toxic chemicals at other places and turn that into investing in your own company. I'm now buying my toothpaste from Young Living, my cleaning products from Young Living, makeup products from Young Living. It's well over a hundred PV that I would purchase other places that are now funneling that hundred dollars back into Young Living. It's easy for me. It is because it's fun and I enjoy it and I'm investing back in my own company. So when you invest back in your own company for a hundred PV, you now get essential rewards because you're on auto ship is their essential reward program. You get essential rewards. For every month you're on essential rewards, you get points back to use as money towards products. You also get free oils for ordering. Every person that you introduce oils to that loves the oils and shares them like you do, now you get checks back. When you have three people under you, your $160 kit is paid for. So my first check went to pay for my oils. So in essence, I've never bought an oil. We love it, share it, love it, share it. The check's coming in. I'm investing back in my own company. This is a wonderful way to do this as we get older and we retire because we're building a business. And as we're building a business, the ball starts rolling, the money starts coming in. And we love it and share it, love it and share it, love it and share it. That's how you build a business, loving and sharing. Get two people, sit on your couch, share the oils, and they sign up. And they go home and tell two people. And they go home and share and love and share the oils. Okay, Young Living has made this so convenient for us to go to the back office of their website. They've actually got everything we need to share 
and stay in compliance and share it with accuracy, the details are here. Okay? If someone's not interested in building a business, then you sign up as a member. As a member, you get a member number. You are allowed 24% discount. And you keep that member number forever and ever. There is no minimum monthly order as a member. Okay? I want you to be aware of synthetic oils and counterfeiting oils that are out there on the internet. I love Young Living, I trust Young Living, and I support Young Living. So go to our website. We are EssentialOilsRI.com.